Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video as the circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. As you watch this, you may have already been to see the new Star Wars movie. Even if you haven't, I've no doubt you've been to stores and seen that seemingly everything has the Star Wars logo plastered all over it right now. I chronicled the tip of that iceberg in a video recently that I titled Star Wars The Merchandise Awakens. Well, it seems Disney's purchase of Lucasfilm is paying off. They are making money hand over fist. Yet it seems not all companies need to pay a license fee to Disney to take a bite out of that Star Wars cash cow, which brings us to our knockoff lightsaber. Now, in some ways, it does look less like a children's toy and more like an adult toy. But taking our minds out of the gutter and calling it a knockoff probably isn't fair as it doesn't bear the Star Wars logo, nor does it call itself a lightsaber. Instead, as we look at the label there, we can see it calls itself a light sword. Yet the character wielding this lightsaber, I mean light sword on the label, does look a little like Anakin Skywalker. I guess we can call him kinda Anakin, or Anna kinda Kin. <laughs> so yeah, while not strictly a knockoff, the company that made it says on the hilt there, Zuru. Seems they're towing the line carefully enough to avoid Lucasfilm or Hasbro lawyering up on them. Yet you don't have to have the wisdom of Master Yoda to see just what they're trying to ape here. To activate the light up feature, you can press the button here and then off again, or you can slide it on and keep it on permanently. And when I say light up feature, I'm referring to the two LEDs here. It's hardly the uniform glowing effect that Anna Kinderkin has on the label. And of course, with the lights off, it's looking a bit more effective, but only really a bit. It still looks like I've just got two fireflies trapped in there. And the blade itself is made of a foam, so hopefully young Star Wars fans won't be giving their siblings brain damage with this. They can find other ways. Now knockoff lightsabers are essentially as old as the movies themselves. Seen in this vintage ad for the force beam which was essentially a flashlight with a plastic tube stuck to the end of it. Yet the knockoff lightsabers of those days were more a result of official legitimate companies yet to capitalize on the popularity of Star Wars. The light sword we have here, it's more about the price. And I say that as you now join me at my local Tesco's where they're selling an official lightsaber set made by toy giant Hasbro for a whopping 50 pounds. And here we're not really comparing apples for apples, as with that set you get a lot more and it is of a higher quality. But this light sword for just £2.40? Well that's the kind of sum of money that you'd lose down the back of the sofa, so you can see why parents would take the cheaper option. So I'm not surprised that products like this exist, but what does surprise me is that these are being sold at Tesco's, UK's biggest retailer, the third biggest retailer in the world, and they're mingled in among Hasbro's official lightsabers. I bet Hasbro are loving that. So yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to share this curiosity with you. Of course, they did sell green lightsabers for the whiter than white Jedis. Me, of course, I was turned by the dark side a long time ago. Anyway, for a hand picked by yours truly selection of Star Wars weird and wonderful goodies, click this video and I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.